Russia will expand sanitary belts in Ukraine. Medvedev made new announcements about occupation. Ukraine would be wise to accept Russian President Vladimir Putin's peace proposal. Otherwise, Russian troops will press on and make life even more difficult for Kyiv. Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said, Frankly speaking, I think that the president has said everything. I mean that the next peace proposal Russia makes will be worse for the Ukrainian authorities, no matter how we treat them. Now they have the opportunity to consider Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin's peace proposal and at least try to make peace and end this part of the conflict, he told reporters. Otherwise, according to Medvedev, the Russian offensive will continue and it will be difficult to say where the lines of the buffer zone that Russian President Vladimir Putin mentioned will be. It's very likely that all of this will not work to the benefit of the current Ukrainian authorities. So they have to hurry while they still can, he added. Medvedev explained that if the conflict continues and the Russian armed forces further advance, the sanitary belt will continue to expand. However, according to the official, Kiev has already responded with a refusal at the conference in Switzerland, rejecting any proposals from the outset, taking the discussion back to the very beginning. In vain. So it will be worse from now on, he concluded. It is worth recalling that earlier State Duma speaker Vyacheslav Volodin stated that some Ukrainian people's deputies are discussing the proposal of the Russian president. However, the deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council expressed confidence that there are no forces in the Verkhovna Rada today that could support Vladimir Putin's peaceful formula since the authorities in Ukraine are under complete control of the West. On June the 14th, at a meeting with Russian diplomats, Russian President Vladimir Putin made new peace proposals for resolving the conflict in Ukraine. These include recognizing the status of Crimea, the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, and the Zaporozhye and Kherson regions as part of Russia consolidating Ukraine non-aligned and nuclear status, its demilitarization and denazification, and the lifting of anti-Russian sanctions, the Ukrainian side rejected the initiative. Russia preparing to transfer Marines from Pacific Fleet to Vobchansk area due to heavy losses. The Russian forces suffer heavy losses during the battles for Vovchansk in the Kharkiv region and are preparing to deploy Marines from the Pacific Fleet. This refers to a brigade stationed more than 9,000 kilometers from the combat zone, according to Nazar Voloshin, the spokesperson for the Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops, Kortizia. According to him, the Ukrainian Defense Forces are facing the 138th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade, the 83rd Separate Air Assault Brigade, and the 30th Motorized Rifle Regiment in Vovchansk. At the same time, Russia plans to deploy units from the 155th Separate Marine Brigade from the Pacific Fleet and units belonging to the 25th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade of the 6th Army from the Leningrad Military District to perform tasks in that direction. It is worth noting that the 155th Separate Guards Marine Brigade is stationed in the city of Vladivostok and the village of Slavyanka in the Primorsky Krai. The distance to Bovchansk is approximately 9,300 kilometers. 
Voloshin explained that the Russian forces had suffered significant losses during nearly a month and a half of fighting for Vovchansk. The number is over 4,000 eliminated soldiers. Now the Russian military leadership is trying to replenish their forces involved in this direction with groups located near the borders of Ukraine as well as military groups located within the territory of the Russian Federation. Over a month ago, Russian forces attempted to capture the town in the northern parts of the Kharkiv region, but they only managed partial advancement. Ukrainian forces are counter-attacking in this direction. Vovchansk was the first big target of Russia's northern offensive, which kicked off on May the 10th with simultaneous attacks in several places along Ukraine's northern border with Russia. But the Russian northern grouping of forces, tens of thousands of soldiers strong, never got past the industrial town four miles south of the border. Several Ukrainian brigades, including the 82nd Air Assault Brigade, raced north to meet the Russians. Rearmed with American munitions, the Ukrainians fought the Russians street by street, building by building, and halted their advance in late May.